nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you the god. So watch OS 10 is here. I've been testing it here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech for almost two months. And when it comes to a device that's running Watch OS 10 and one that's running Watch OS 9, there's actually quite a number of differences that are notable. In this video, I'm going to be showing you most of those differences, and some of them are quite major. So these are my Apple Watch devices that I'm going to be testing using today. This is the Apple Watch Ultra. This is the Apple Watch Series 7. And first, right here, you can see when I raise up my wrist, you can see a new watch face. Well, two watch faces that are available on WatchOS 10 that are not available on WatchOS 9. And you can see the names of those watch faces here. We got the Palette's watch face and the Snoopy watch face. So those are available on WatchOS 10 and not on WatchOS 9. And then another change that's here, you can see it probably here. This is the app view section on WatchOS 10. And this is the old app view section that we have on WatchOS 9. Now, as you might know, on WatchOS 9, when you do this, it actually zooms out and you can actually zoom out until these icons almost disappear. And when you let go, they pop up. But on WatchOS 10, as you can see, we have a different view. And when you move your crown, it's actually scrolling up and down. You can see if I go down like this, it's not zooming in and out. And on WatchOS 9, you can see here, unlike WatchOS 10, if you forward your crown like this when you're on the app view section, it brings you back to your watch face. But on WatchOS 10, you can see it just takes you up and down. And then if you look at this app view section that we have on WatchOS 9, you can see here, it's almost as if you have unlimited room, you can remove like any applications every anywhere you want. But if you come to the app view section on WatchOS 10, you can see here you have a border. It's almost as if it's a grid view, but the room is limited. And you can see here, instead of having your apps in like haphazardly placed, now you have limited range. Unlike here where you can scroll pages or go as far east or as far west as you want. Here, the apps that you see here are basically everything that you can see when you go to this side, the app on this end becomes smaller. And when you pull this side like this, you can still see the stocks app, but it just becomes smaller. It doesn't completely disappear from the screen like what you can see here on watchOS 9. So this is something that's good or that's different here. And then also on this app view section, if you click right here, you can see it goes into Jiko mode on watchOS 10, but on watchOS 9, if you click right there, you can see it gives you the option to switch between grid view mode and list view mode. And it also gives you the option to edit your apps. That's something that's different from watchOS 10, where it just goes into edit apps mode and you can move your apps around up and down. But here on watchOS, nine, you can see you had the option to switch between grid view and list view. And in addition to that, if you press and hold your apps and we go back to the grid view here, you can see on watchOS 10, if you want to actually edit your view from like grid view to list view on watchOS 10, you have to go to where it says list view. It's on the bottom of the page all the way down. And then if you click where it says list view, then it gives you this list view. If you want to go all the way back to grid view, you have to come all the way down and then click grid view like this. That's how you switch back and forth. So there's more work on watchOS 10 be switching between grid view and list view. And here on watchOS 9, it was a simple tap. You go to list view, you simple tap and hold, go to grid view. Another difference right there. Now here you can see on watchOS 10, if you, if you, go all the way to the top of your app view here. You know, here when you go all the way down, we showed you the list view and grid view. But if you go all the way to the top and then continue to pull your crown down like this, you can see it enters into this widget mode. And you can see here, this is the widget mode, unlike watchOS 9, where if you go like this, it's just zooming out. So watchOS 10, gives you this stacked or widget section that you can see here. 
which is another difference. Now, this is something that's cool. We'll get to it soon. But another difference that I wanted to show you here are the ways you can change your watch between watchOS 10 and watchOS 9. So on watchOS 9, if you wanted to change your watch face, you just swipe like that. Simple gesture. You switch your watch faces like this. You can see it's a simple and straightforward motion. Now on watchOS 10, that is actually no longer the case. So see, if I swipe left, swipe right, it doesn't do anything. So the way you now change your watch face on watchOS 10, you have to press and hold and then you can swipe and then that's how you're going to be able to change your watch face. It takes more time and you can see it here, but I notice if you, there's a trick, you don't really have to hold for long. You can just press for a bit and then go like this, or you just press like this and yeah, sort of a longer process, but that's another difference that's here with watchOS 9 and watchOS 10. On watchOS 9, Previously, if you wanted to go to your control center, you just pull up like this and it brings you to your control center. But on watchOS 10, look, if I do that, it brings me to the widget page. This is something that's new and exclusive to watchOS 10 going forward. So how do you access your control center on watchOS 10? Well, you see this side button here besides the digital crown. Now you have to press that to access your control center. Something that's different and that will take some time to get used to. I'm just so used to swiping up and it brings up the control center, but that is now different with watchOS 10. And you can see watchOS 9 is still the old classic way. Now on watchOS 9, the side button did multitasking or opened your recently opened application. So now if you want to do like multitasking on watchOS 10, since that has been changed, you have to double tap your digital crown like that. And you can see that brings our recent opened application. Whereas on watchOS 9, you just press the side button. So that's another difference that's right there. You have to double tap your digital crown. And on watchOS 9, if you double tap your digital crown, it switches between your recently opened application. Another difference that's right there. See if you double tap here, but if I double tap here, you can see it doesn't do that. That has been removed. And I really like that feature. It was a really good way to move between your recently opened application on watchOS 9, but on watchOS 10, that is no longer the case. That is how you access your multitasking or your recently opened application. Now, another difference that's here between watchOS 9 and watchOS 10, I'll show it to you right here. You can see on watchOS 9, if you want to view your notifications while you are in your app view section, you really couldn't do that. But on watchOS 10 right here, you can see if you swipe down on your app view section, it will bring you to this section that has your stacked widgets. And if you want to view your notifications, you have to be on the watch face section and then you have to pull down and you can view your notifications. So on watchOS 9, if you access your control center, I'm actually forgetting now, this is messing with my mind, but you can see you have the option to ping your iPhone on watchOS 9. But now on watchOS 10, that is still the case. You have the option to ping your iPhone, but now with iOS 17 and watchOS 10, you have the option to also ping your Apple Watch in case you were to lose your Apple Watch. So just listen to this. And then if I want to ping the iPhone, Nice. So this is now something that works both ways. Even some of the applications have been updated. For example, if we go into the mindfulness app and open the mindfulness app here on watchOS 9, you can see here on watchOS 10, we have this new section that says state of mind. You can log in your state of mind and best be able to track your mental health state, which is something that's good and useful when it comes to watchOS 10 and not yet there on watchOS 9. If you open up your weather application, this is watchOS 9 and this is watchOS 10 right here. So 
with watchOS 10, they've added like an iOS experience to the weather app. And you can see on watchOS 9, we still have the old boring look. This case will give it to watchOS 10. It just looks better. And overall, you can swipe and see different motions. And when you are viewing different screens, you can just tap and it will show you different parameters according to the region that you set. And overall, it's just easier to see information and interact with, which is a plus for watchOS 10. Now, also, there's a different UI changes in most of these application. For example, if you open up this heart application and you go and open up the same on watchOS 9, you can see there's been a difference right here. And you can see this is how it looks on watchOS 10. It's showing you this cool animation while on watchOS 9, it still has the boring old classic look. Now, if you're a person who does calls on the Apple Watch, like a lot, now I'll be happy to let you know that with watchOS 10 and not supported on watchOS 9, you have the ability to do FaceTime audio group calls. So more than one, more than two people, more than three people can talk and you can receive that call on your watch using watchOS 10, but not yet supported on watchOS 9. On watchOS 10, if you go into your settings and go to Siri, you have the option to allow the Apple Watch to listen just for Siri and not for the hey and then Siri phrase. So if you want to shorten it, you can do that on watchOS 10, but it's not yet there or it's not a supported on watchOS 9. So this is just a small short video showing you some of the differences that we have between watchOS 9 and watchOS 10. Quite a lot. I, for example, myself will miss the control center where you just swipe up. It's not supported here. We now have this stacked widget section, but let me know what you think and what's, do you like the new uh, way you interact with your Apple Watch between watchOS 10 and watchOS 9 and some of the things that have been updated like their weather application, the ability to ping your Apple Watch and a few other minor UI changes are for the better but there's still like old classic movements and UI interactions that I miss from watchOS 9 that went carried over to watchOS 10. But yeah, that's just my quick take on it. Let me know what you think about this video. I will be covering watchOS 9 updates and watchOS 10 updates. So do subscribe so that you keep updated. Peace. I come to paralyze the leader red Rumors antagonize the dinner dates Some devastation from the paper pain I make the papa leader red I only meditate some kill it vanilla Don't spill the conscious, steal the keys Once was affected, I no longer breathe I'm wide awake in the atmosphere Solitaire, they sick and tired of waving Sitting like the Navy We don't like to try to split Conversations flipping on the Bible page